this is Ivory, and I woke up today to these new suits in the gallery of the English server and I am beyond happy because these are some of my favorite wasteland suits. The parts are obviously used in so many different ways, in competition and in the corridor, um, and the color scheme overall for these suits as you will see in a little bit are really good too. So there, you can have a 50% off discount on one of the two wasteland, like more extravagant looking suits. So I think it will be good to go through the multiple parts for people to get an idea which suit to apply the discount on. Now, let's go ahead with the blue suit, the Night Legend of the Stars. We'll just refer to it as a blue suit since that's the easier way to say it. And we'll take everything off. The hair is obviously, you know, not very casual looking um, and the pose is connected all in one piece but it's surprisingly usable with different number of styles and of course this giant book, the veil, and then the face ornament if I believe I don't remember if it's headdress or face ornament and of course a makeup so um, now we'll go ahead and check out the normal pose there will be more stuff to talk about here, as always, because um, we broke up the hair into this more uh, calm version, and then the coat. Now, this top, you can use it as like a bikini if you want, and the bottom is again that lovely light blue color. Um, the anklets, it's hard to see here. But they're really delicate looking, like they don't look cheap. <laughs> they're nicely made anklets. And this giant book, again, of course, is so just adds so much atmosphere to any outfit you're working on. Then the second version of the veil um, as well. I like how they have two versions of each item. That is great. Again, a great attention to detail. The necklace. Um, okay, everything's kind of just like blending together. <laughs> because of the gold detail they are like uniform looking but um you know not doesn't stand out they just are there to add more to your outfit without distracting them now let's just go to uh, view mode so we can see how this would work when you're actually using them the book obviously like just blocks out everything one of those items that block out your competition opponents <laughs> Then if you shrink it like we do here, you can actually see that the, the, the clouds envelops all around the book and then you have a bit of the night sky star over there, hence the suit's name. And without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the red suit as well. This is the Legend of the Abyss of the Wind, which is technically the name of the event. This hair is uh, large to say the least. It's almost too over the top but not really like still very controlled the pose all in one piece again but we get this giant griffin its name is uno okay uno in chinese i don't know how they're gonna translate it but let's just go with uno for now <laughs> and then the backdrop item as well as um the what, I, what was i looking for here we go let's put yeah yeah that headdress here we go Oh, it was right there. <laughs> um, so that is a special pose. Now let's go ahead and do the normal pose. It's, it comes with some really handy items yet again. The hair is the same version as the special pose hair, but you know, it looks good. Top and bottom as well. Then the shoes. Um, and then let's go ahead and put on the griffin again. The backdrop it's actually there's more to it than um, what you see on the screen on this interface we'll check it out in a bit um, now this these swords here we don't have a lot of double handheld items and everyone loves swords right so I think this will be a really good addition to our English servers wardrobe um, as well so that is the normal pose for the red suit Again, Legend of the Abyss of the Wind. I hope that's how they translate it, since that is the original name in Chinese, but it is a mouthful. And now, um, let's go ahead and check it out in the view mode as well. 
So this is how she looks. Her hair goes all the way to the ground. Well, actually that's like the details of her outfits. I always thought it was her hair. <laughs> um, I should probably stare more closely, I think. And then this griffin, for a long time I thought the back was kind of bare. Like she, he or she, it's a, it's a boy griffin. Um, doesn't have like a saddle or anything, but then, you know, I remembered that, you know, your, your Nikki will probably be in the middle. So normally the griffin doesn't look so bare. And then now we have the backdrop item. So festive, but it's actually very usable with many different countries outfits as well because um you know obviously you can rotate it or hide some part of it that you don't want um very theatrical looking now this one in the competition doesn't block your opponent completely so if you want to be respectful that's the way to go and last but not least let's go check out this more subtle suit from the um southeastern asian server actually I really like it. It's not as extravagant as the two we just saw, but you know, there are a lot of um, coloring details that goes into them. So, and it's not like one giant block of colors. So there are many more combinations of greens, gold, and yellows that you can work with. Like look at the peacock color on her head. It's so pretty, right? And then the earrings as well then um, the bracelet and the uh, tattoo if i remember correctly it's, it's really light so normally you don't see it and you think it's a bracelet but that is the breakdown of this suit i mean i'll be getting all three because i'm so excited um so yeah let me know if you guys want to get all three or is there just one that you really like out of them